In this video, I've got a really useful resource for getting the highest grades in Edexcel A-level physics. So here's a tip specifically for people studying Edexcel physics. These are the Pearson published textbooks, course textbooks, year one and year two. And you can see they're not very thick. Now I wouldn't, I wouldn't encourage you just to have these. I wouldn't encourage you just to have these in your revision guide. I think these are excellent resources, but for me, they don't go into the depth that you're gonna to need to know to do really well in your A-level physics. They've got everything you need, they've got all the information you need, but they don't have the depth. Now, the, the resources that I suggest you add to your pile are these ones, the Salters Horners resources. Now, actually, there's a whole bunch of teaching resources that go with this, and maybe your school teaches you according to these units. Um, but even if they don't, I think this is the best textbook for you if you're studying at Excel Physics. Now, why is that? Because it's teaching you the physics based in the context. At first, people tend to find A-level studies really difficult because they're constantly having to work in a context. So in an exam question, they've learned all the stuff about thermodynamics, and then suddenly they get a question in context of heating a home. Now, they find that difficult because they've practiced those questions on this type of book on the thermodynamics, and they understand how to use the, the equation and all those things, but they don't have it in context. They're not used to applying to the context. So where these textbooks are excellent is they're actually teaching you within the context. So in this one, in the second year, there is the, the, the specific heat capacity is taught in the context of buildings. So it's taught in the context of keeping buildings warm. Now actually, that is going to be a context used in exam. They are going, probably going to be thinking of difficult contexts for questions on thermodynamics in the exam. So if you're already learning it in that kind of context, then you're going to find it easier to handle those contextualized questions. But it's not the only place thermodynamics comes up in these textbooks. They also deal with thermodynamics to do with stars. So you're actually applying the same things to different contexts. So for me, if you are going for one of the top grades in Edexcel physics, buy these books. Other people are using these books. They are excellent. And there's loads of stuff in there, really, really interesting stuff. They're really, really well written. It's quite difficult to actually unpick the content from the context sometimes. So it is essential that you have, at the very least, a revision guide that tells you everything you need to know and to be applied to the context. But because you're learning in the context, you'll be better at applying to context in the exam. You might have both. You might have the content one and the context one. And that's what we do at my school. We actually learn in this way. And then when we come to revise, we actually switch to these resources. So we learn in the context and we revise with the content. Do you know what else is at the end of each chapter? Answers. So this is Gorilla Physics, I'm Kip Masters, and I'm recommending the Salters Horners textbooks for learning A-level physics. I've linked them up in the, in the description below, so you make sure you get the very latest edition for the very latest A-level.